What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to send in your PlayStation 5 DualSense or DualShock 5 controller into Sony for repair. So let's get right into this. So this is a new service, I believe Sony started recently, in which you can just sign up and do the form online directly and essentially send in your Sony product, PlayStation product, for repair. So we're going to talk about specifically the DualSense 5 or the PlayStation 5 controller, DualShock 5, whatever this is called, right? So what you want to do is you want to get the serial number or the barcode number, whatever it's called, from the back of your controller. So this is actually extremely easy to see. If you actually look at your controller from the back, like I'm literally looking at it right now, and there's it's kind of confusing. There's a bunch of little things happening. On the there's a all the way at the bottom, like right in the middle-ish, there's something called FCC ID. It is not that. It is the one right above that that is your serial number that you can find. Now, obviously, make sure you don't put your friends or something. Do the actual controller that you may have the issue with, right? So a lot of times, like, folks hit me up like, hey, I have stick drift issues or I have this issues, touchpad issues. Like, I've made some videos on how to resolve some of them, but hey, sometimes... It could be the controller itself. It's jacked up. So I'm actually going to paste in the serial code number from my controller, from one of my controllers. And uh, I'm going to kind of just show you how that process works. So let's just say I purchased it June 1st, right? So I'm technically under warranty. I believe it's one year. Uh, I think if I did longer than that, it might tell me no. Uh, let's say I just did... I don't even know if that's possible. Uh, it's not saying right now. Well, it may say it, but this is uh, your model number of your controller is actually on the back. You can clearly see it. It's, this one is on the top middle. Uh, you just say the color. Uh, you say what the issue is. Let's just say analog stick, and I'm going to say none here. Um, right now, I don't know why, because I don't know if it's because of the date or in general, Sony will just do it for free depending on the issue. Uh, it's just telling me to put in my contact information, my shipping address. You verify what the information is, and at the bottom, it'll tell you if there was a cost associated to this or not. Uh, that's let's try let's try to do it again with 2020. I just want to see if it'll show me uh, And it's not saying it. But anyways uh, The like I said like let's, let's do that. Let's do none uh, It usually says it at the bottom left if this calls or not It looks like there's one there's nothing in this You're just going to put in your information confirm and then put in any billing information if needed Like I said, there is no cost component here. It did say that for my PlayStation 5 So most likely they're doing this one for free if there is an issue, right? They, they uh, unsure if they'll charge you for shipping I highly doubt it because it just says to confirm and finish. But you're going to put in the relevant information over here. Uh, once you do, you're going to go next. You're going to, again, confirm said information. They're going to send you a shipping slip. Or either they will send you a box to ship it out to them. Or they'll just give you a print slip similar to Amazon. And then you ship it to them. And then they'll either get you a brand new one or they'll fix it. Uh, do keep in mind there are extended delays. They have been saying that as well. Uh, so you want do want to be cognizant of that. But yeah, this is essentially how you get your controller sent into Sony to have it repaired or possibly sent you a new one. Preferably that, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys still have any comments, questions, sir, so let me know in the comment section below. More than happy you guys out. If you guys over like this video, please smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. On that, I'm out. Peace.